Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is the software tour of the HTC Touch HD. Now, there's a lot to talk about in terms of software on this device, but we're only going to cover the major and interesting things, and we're going to cover everything thoroughly in the upcoming review on PocketNow.com, so watch out for that. So here we have TouchFlow 3D, and it's been slightly reworked for the Touch HD. So it adds a few tabs that you don't find on the Touch Diamond and the Touch Pro and those sort of devices. Um, what's interesting is that if you tap one of the buttons along the bottom, one of the icons, you get a little bit of haptic feedback, just as you would if you touch one of the um, hardware buttons here on the Touch HD, which is great because it lets you know that you've actually pressed the button. So going to the right, we have Favorite People. You've seen this before. You've seen the Text Messaging tab before. Also, the Internet tab, which lets you flick through all your favorites quite easily and access a web page really fast. And then, then we have this new tab, the Stocks tab. And this is really great because you can put all of the stocks that you're watching on the screen. They'll update automatically. You can flick through them to see the next one. And if you want more information, you just tap right on the chart and you get a more elaborate chart with information about the stock. And it's using Yahoo Finance, so you can go to six months, you can see the chart how things have been going. So that's a really good addition. Going over to the right, we have the Photo tab, which is a little different than the other TouchFlow 3D because you get more picture uh, because the screen is longer, right? So you can actually see more of the picture going down the screen. And of course, you flick your finger, you flick your stylus, and you can look through your pictures that way. Next up is the Music tab, and we've seen this before. You can play songs right from your Today screen, or you can flick through your album art if you have any uh, songs on your device. Going over to the right, we have the Weather tab, which is slightly reworked. Now, if you remember the Weather tab on the Diamond and Touch Pro, they'll let you see a five-day forecast, but you have to go to another screen to do so. Um, this way, we have the uh, weather forecast right on the screen because the screen is longer, so that's great. Okay, going over to the next tab, we have some settings. And in this version of TouchFlow 3D, you can customize the tabs. So you can uncheck the ones you don't want, and you can rearrange them by tapping and dragging like so. So that's a really good addition. And if we finish up in programs, we see that there are a lot of icons on the screen. And of course, if you want to add a program, you tap on the plus button, you scroll with your finger like so, very smooth flick scrolling, and you just tap on something and the icon will pop up. Flick scrolling is prevalent throughout the entire operating system here, so it's really finger friendly. Okay, so let's get into programs. I want to show you some things that you may not uh, have seen before or that are interesting. Performance on the Touch HD is pretty good. Um, as you're going to see in an upcoming video, it's about the same as the Touch Pro and the Diamond, which is already pretty darn fast. Um, so here we are in programs. We have the usual HTC entries. We have Communication Manager. We have the camera, which we're going to talk about in the review. It's 5 megapixels, so probably take some great shots. Um, we have FM Radio with a, with a new icon. Uh, this device comes with Google Maps, which of course is free to everyone. Let's take a look at Opera and see how web pages render on such a wide, large display. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go to uh, CNN.com. It's a news... Actually, I'll go to CNN. It's closer. And let's see how long this takes. We're over a Wi-Fi connection right now. Now, unfortunately, the prototype version of the uh, Touch HD had flash support, and this device does not. Uh, it doesn't look like they included the updated version of Opera that has flash support, although it has a new zooming feature that I'm going to show you in a second. So here we are, we're done loading, and now I'm just going to flip it over to um, Landscape, and we get a really fast screen rotation. And, of course, you can flick your finger to go down the page. Now, we have this new zoom slider. Of course, you can zoom in by double tapping, and it will resize the column. Very nice. Or you can use the zoom slider now, which I don't like that much. It's not very uh, precise. So if I tap on it, I can go in. I much prefer the double tap method. And using the internet on this device is just amazing. You see so much screen data at one time. It's, it's just remarkable. So we're going to get out of Opera Mobile. All right, let's go down the list. We have the usual entries. Um, I want to show you YouTube because it's a slightly different version of YouTube, and I also want to show you how videos look, uh, streaming videos on this device.
Okay, so what's new about this version of Opera, or, or YouTube, I should say, is that there's now a program guide at the top. Previous versions didn't have this. They came on the Touch Pro and Touch Diamond, which, which lets you dial down by category um, in YouTube. So we can go to, um, let's go to Science and Technology. And we're going to filter by the top rated video. And I'm going to play the first one I see, or the second one. So let's go to, actually, this one looks a little better. And we go to Landscape. Hey guys, it's me, Morpheus. It's Carlos here. Today I got something on <clears throat> the Moshi. And videos just look really fantastic on this device. Um, this may not be the best video to, to demonstrate that, but um, take my word for it. Uh, you'll see this in an upcoming video that I'm going to do comparing the Touch Pro and the uh, Touch HD. The video playback is just very smooth. It looks fantastic on the huge screen. And the WVGA re resolution really helps to make things extra crisp and extra clear. Okay, so let's go into the settings now and talk about a few things. Let's start off by going into buttons. And here we can customize just one button. We don't really have that many choices to begin with, uh, but we can do a tap and hold of the uh, call start button, which is good. We don't have voice command. We have voice speed dial, which you much, must train, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, let's go over to system and see how much memory we have. We have a few programs open right now, but even then we have over 100 megabytes of free program memory. Uh, this device has about 200 free, which is the same, around the same as the Touch Pro, so that's good. Uh, let's go down the list. We have, of course, the calibration wizard for um, HTC de devices with an accelerometer. And something that's kind of unfortunate is that you can't change the orientation of the screen permanently. So if we go down to screen, we don't have the setting to change uh, the orientation. So if I want to use it in landscape full time, I can't do that. The only times when I can use landscape is when you're looking at pictures or you're on YouTube or you're in opera. So that's, that's really unfortunate. And over in connection, we have the usual things. Now I want to talk about entering data, entering text on the Touch HD because obviously it doesn't have a keyboard, so how do you enter data? Well, it has all of the HTC keyboards that come on other devices and they're really good keyboards. So here we have a few choices of keyboards. Um, let me show you them. We have the phone keypad, which is what you're seeing now, a compact QWERTY, which is like a shirt type, and then a full QWERTY, which is obviously a full on keyboard. So I'm going to show you this one, and this is kind of like a T9 pad that you would have on a numeric phone. So I'm going to just type, um, you know, today is Saturday. And I have it switched to ABC, which, so it's not doing the T9. Let me turn that on. Okay, so let's try that. Today is Saturday. Today is... Saturday. There it is. Pretty fast, right? Uh, you can change the, the, the word completion options and that sort of thing. Let's try another keyboard. Let's try the shirt type. And I think the shirt type keyboard would be best suited for long emails where you can use both thumbs, uh, whereas the previous keyboard is good for if you're using it one-handed. So I'm going to type again, today is Saturday. Just as good, and like I said, if I were to pick this up and use my thumbs, it would be even faster. And let me just finish up by showing you the full QWERTY keyboard. And here it is. It's, it's kind of like the iPhone keyboard where it doesn't register a press unless you lift up your finger. So overall, the keyboards on the HTC Touch HD are, are pretty good. And I think after a while of getting used to it, after a few days of usage, you'd become really comfortable and be able to enter text pretty fast. So that's a great thing. And with the large screen, it helps to be able to have so much surface area to work with. Okay, here we are on the phone application, and I'm covering up a phone number at the top because it's exposed. So here's the problem. Because this device doesn't have a D-pad, we can't go down to Ryan, press right to go to home, and dial his number. If I tap on Ryan, it's going to call Ryan. That's kind of a flaw with the device. But here's something interesting. If I go down to Ryan and swipe right or left, I can toggle between text messages, mobile, and home. And that way, if I want to call Ryan home, now I just tap, or if I want to use his, uh, if I want to text message him, I just 
tap now after I switch it. And it took me a really long time to figure that out, actually. Because it's kind of unconventional for Windows Mobile devices to not let you use the D-pad to select a number and then press right or left to choose their mobile number or their home number or that sort of thing. So that's it for the software tour of the Touch HD. And as I was mentioning, we have a video coming up where we're going to compare the Touch Pro with the Touch HD and show you kind of how the screens differ, how the performance differs, and what it actually looks like to have such a large screen on the Touch HD. So watch out for that. And follow us on Twitter so that you can find out right when we post it. Twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. And that's it for now.